Thou hast yet to depart. Waylaid by sentiment, my girl. It would ill behoove me to leave without bidding my favorite prentice affair thee well. A joke, as always. Will thy journey be long, Master? Ah, uh, a good question, that. The request cometh from none other than the Knights Ardant. The hunt will take us to distant lands, and the beast we pursue is a fearsome one. I see. And not so glum, girl. I'm no Tyro with green arrows and bruises on his bow arm. I'll do the deed. I'll be back before two moons have passed. Still no smile? What is it, my girl? Tis not the hunt that concerneth me. Thou intendest to stop and off somewhere along the way. Oh, here and there, mayhap. Why dost thou ask? Thou forgettest or feignst ignorance, so I will remind thee. On the last hunt, thou gambledest away thy purse and came back a poorer man than thou left. Pour in coin, mayhap. Yes, I did make a few wagers at the arena in Victor's Hollow. And learned that while I have a keen eye for assessing the strength of beasts, I am quite at a loss with men. A valuable lesson that was cheaply bought. Not so cheap in the end. Eliza had to pay in thy debts, and thou only finished its paying her back this last moon. Promise me, Master, no more foolish gambling. <laughs> but what have the old hunters saying? If the first arrow faileth, knock a second and try again. <sighs> thou just madest that one up. Come now, girl. Thou art too young by half for such world-weary sighs. Must thou makest our parting so gloomy? I turn to thee, Hagen. Looking after Master, for he can rarely be bothered to looking after himself. Takest her side against me, old friend? He knoweth good sense when he heareth it. <laughs> Growlest thou not at me, thou faithless turncoat? Hail, Hanit. Have you come to see us off? I have come in to warn Master about straying from the path. And I thank you for it. I do not have the leaves to pay another debt like that. Have I not a single ally in this infernal village? I am your friend, but I am also a Knight Ardant, and your client. You would do well not to forget this. Not for a moment, most honorable Lady Eliza of the Illustrious. Knights are done. <laughs> That's more like it. Fear not. I'll keep him out of trouble. I'll have him fill his evenings penning a detailed account of our adventures on the hunt. Taken care, and may thine arrows strike true. I shall look after the forest till the day of thy return. Thank ye, my girl, and farewell. A year hath passed since that day. In all that time, 
Master could only be bothered to send in a single letter. Hornet, tis me, thou revered master. Missest me? I won't bore thee with any blather about the weather or the season. Who knoweth when this will even arrive, after all? For three months now, I have pursued the trail of the beast sought me by the Knights Ardant. A beast by the name of Red Eye. That's their name for it, leastwise. As for its true name, if it even hath one, none can say. But on my father's bow, I swear, tis the most vexing quarry I've ever had the misfortune to hunt in. It eludeth my every trap, and, though thou may think me mad for saying this, I swear it can even sense every move I make. I know not if it is human intelligence or pure animal instinct, but either way, it refuseth to be caught. Still, we appear to have annoyed me sufficiently that it is moving on to new pastures. Judging from its behavior, I believe it meaneth to make for the lands around Stoneguard. I will be frank with thee, my girl, who thou hast always been able to see through my pretenses. The chase will be hard, and the hunt will not end it soon. But fear not, for endeth it shall, hast thou ever known'st your master to fail in a hunt. And so I ask thee, my dear apprentice, pray look after the village until I return. Oh, and be not a worry, Wart. Always thy friend and teacher, Zanta. Never heard master admitteth that any hunt would be difficult. Either this red eye is truly the most formidable of beasts, or he stoppeth in every gambler's den from here to Stoneguard. But no, Master liketh to act in the fool, but when it cometh to hunting, if he saith he will catcheth his quarry, then catcheth it. Master entrusted the safety of the village to me. My duty now is to the villagers. Come in. Let us visit in the headman and see if anyone hath need of my bow. Yes.
Letting us hunt him. Letting my arrow fly in true. <laughs> Coming, if thou darest. <laughs> Letting the hunt begin. <laughs> thou didst fight his courage. Now then, 